Hi. Hello. Happy it's Monday. Monday. It's Monday. Oh, I think we're both wearing a little green. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that until I saw our reflection on this. We are live at five, and we have an awesome Broadway legendary diva here. Yes, we for do. Our live guest. Who is it, Beth? The Countess of the Clink. <laughs> The keeper of the case we have, Roz Ryan from Chicago. So excited. Who we love. We love her. But first we're going to talk about the news, and then we're yeah. going to bring her in. Yes. So, well, first of all, Beth and I, we, we took a little trip last week. We did. We took a quickie. We went, uh, we spent 24 hours in Chicago. Chicago. The, the town, Illinois. not the musical, that's right. Right, right, right. In the town, in the, the city, town. the Windy City, and yeah. we saw War Paint. We saw War Paint. Which is, which is I hopefully coming to Broadway. Awesome. I, I don't know. So. Fingers crossed. Pat, first of all, okay, Patty Lapone. I mean, so she's Helena Rubinstein, right? Who I knew, I know nothing about that way, sure. Elizabeth Arden or Helena Rubinstein, but or this, Stein. yes, there, there. This is like, <laughs> this, this is, is like, so much fun because it's two women who built empires, yeah, beauty empires, and they were. But I just want to say the rivals. last like fifteen minutes of the show, like blew my mind. Yes, the, like because it, like Doug it builds Wright, up in a really smart. Who wrote way. the book, imagined a meeting between them. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they awesome. they never actually met these women. They never did. They just in real made life. they made no. they made women pretty. This is the so Great anyway, Gardens team, uh, right? I mean, come on, and we got to see Patty Lapone. We got to see them both afterwards because we never saw Patty Lapone. It's a great cast. It was so much fun. It was awesome. So much fun. We had a good time. Anyway, we had a good time. So a uh, lot of Broadway news. A lot of Broadway news. Okay. So Charlie and the Chocolate Factory has dates. You know, we already Broadway. knew it was coming in March, but now it's actually coming March twenty eighth. So if you want to see uh, Christian Borrell, then then you can do that, but you can see him before that. In falsettos. In falsettos, Yay. and tickets just went on sale for that. Uh, somebody said he had it coming, I don't know what that means, but I that's a good, it's always a good reference. Uh, Lindsay loves Chicago. I mean, who doesn't? Um, and uh, Queen Leslie, Queen Leslie Margarita is coming back to, to uh, Matilda. Matilda. Yeah. As Mrs. Wormwood mm-hmm. on September 6th. Now, does that mean that, that maybe there's another blog? I don't know, people... I mean, we can't Do you, be anybody want to see that. more of uh, Queen Leslie vlogging? Anyone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Looks, not uh, books, people. Look, looks, not books season, what would this be? Season like, four, 97. five, seven? I don't know. I'm literally um, blind. Speaking of queens, Queen of Swords. Do you know what Queen of Swords is? No, is it? It's no. the new Adina Menzel song from her album, which is titled... Adina Period. Adina Period. And she sang, she did like a video. She's into Facebook Live now. Like us, she's Adina's yeah. doing this now uh, with the bro- her broader way. It's like her Camp Charity, Mariah. Her you remember Camp Mariah? No. Anyone old no. enough? No. Camp Mariah. It, it, it's her. It's her camp. It's broader way. Right. And she did a number. She did like a whole video with the kids, and she premiered this song. Adorable. So look for that. It's on the site. Uh, Cats is in the Million Dollar Club. Officially. I just saw Cats. You saw it, right? Yeah, I saw it. On you Saturday. brought your daughter. I brought my six-year-old. She had a, the greatest time ever. A cat touched her tummy. Magical, magical. <laughs> and you and you went. Did you didn't didn't, um, didn't Libby meet the Rum Tum Tugger? Libby, my daughter met Rum Tum Tugger. I always say the Rum Tum Tugger because of lyrics. He is the Rum Tum Tugger. It's a curious cat. Uh huh. Yeah. And she got to stand on stage, and she didn't realize there was a mezzanine. She was like, "There are more seats." Because Magic. she's spoiled. Because you always sit in the orchestra what with can her. I say? What can I say? <laughs> Uh, uh, Ask a Star with who, Jenna? Jenna Ashkowitz. Ashkowitz. Waitress. Who's in Waitress now. And She's taking in. questions. Yes. Aladdin celebrated its 1001. Is that, is that what, is it 1001 Arabian Nights? Is that the book? Yes. That, so that's why it was a cake? That's right. Okay. Gotta that's have what a they gimmick. were referencing. Gotta have a gimmick. Yes, that's, that's where they the were, story that's from. That's what they were Aladdin referencing. Over to Aladdin, big smash hit Aladdin. Pete Kelly's very excited for showing the trouble. I didn't even see, I can't see anything. Caitlin, I'm going to need help. Right? I have uh, great eyesight. Um, I have great hearing. Uh, and I don't. Uh, so, uh, oh, 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 tonight is, congratulations, Aaron Finley, C. Finley. Aaron C. I'm Finley. Sure he's, I'm sure he's just Aaron Finley to his friends. He probably just had to add the C for equity, right? Yeah, that makes Dude, sense. That's usually what happens. But he's starting tonight in uh, Kiki Boots. Boots. Yeah. He's Char- the new Charlie Price. That's right. right. And we remember him from Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages, yeah. And from Should Have Been, Could Have Been You, Would Have Been You. Must Somebody been just you. said, let's talk about the art of elegance. By Kristen. That's the name of her album, right? It is. is? That what that means? It's called the album. I thought you were going to say, bring on Ross Ryan, let's talk about the art of elegance. <laughs> it's in Shadow What? It, uh, that's the name of her. And it comes out the same it, day as Dina Menzel's album because, we, because they, they just Kristen always have Dina. to be linked. They're going to be linked together for the rest of time. That's true. They are. Uh, hi, Beth. Would you like Tara Louderman to play Anna in Frozen on Broadway? 
I mean, if she wants to. That's a question from Billy. <laughs> sure. I mean, if she wants to. <laughs> I would be fine. thrilled. We I are, love Taylor are, Louderman. She's so are, talented. We are down with that. Okay, I just feel like... Um, it feels like a waste that I'm still here because we have one of the most entertaining I wasn't ladies gonna say on Broadway it. I wasn't gonna here. Say it, so I'm going to get out of I mean, here yeah. and we are go- I'm going to use, I have a new sound effects. We're going to, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Did it at the same time? It's Roz Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's your cue. That's my cue. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Roz Ryan, I'm sure you're going to ask questions. Hello. 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 Hi, baby. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I oh am my so God, excited because I'm sitting next to you. Okay. 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 Let's talk about Chicago. Let's talk about it. How many times have you been in this little show? I broke the record for the longest running female lead about two years ago. So on Broadway, I would say about 15 times and eight tours. Amazing. If you've seen Chicago, but you haven't seen it with Roz Ryan, you haven't actually seen Chicago the Musical. Oh, that's so sweet. Chicago the Musical. I don't know what people are saying because I'm blind. Um, how's it going over there? It's going great. It's we like, got Tom Hewitt. We got, we got Tom Hewitt. Bianca we got Amber Marquine. Faye. Amber Faye, right? We got Bianca McQueen. The Queen. Bianca. We call her Bunky. 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 Oh, we're learning things. And, and what do you call Tom Hewitt? The Hewitt. The and we call Amber the princess. She's a South African princess. And we just call you mama? They call me a few things. <laughs> Some of them, I don't know if you want to say them right now. Yeah, they call me mama. I mean, you know. They call me mama. You have like the they best. They call me mama in the streets. Period. Just mama everywhere. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm good All right. with it. As long as I'm we're good, good with, with it, it's fine. I'm good it's with fine. It. What are these questions? People are saying, I've seen you five times. You are fabulous. I love you. Yas, queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone said it earlier it was their dream to see you on Broadway, and they finally oh. did last week. Oh. How is it working with Tom, someone just Tom asked. is delicious. He's delicious. I call him Swave in the Bone. Swave He's the so bone. elegant. What a beautiful man. And he, tall. Yeah, and tall and handsome. Oh, my goodness. And he knows it, I think. And I've worked with him several times. Yeah, well, you've had a lot of Billies. A lot of Billies, a lot of Elmas, a lot of Broxies, and a lot of Chorus. Is there anyone that you just love working with that you're always excited about? Brandy. 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 She is amazing. It's you one know, of the she best came to Broadway.com and she said hello to every single ticket person, marketing person. She just she's total that. pro. She's that. She's a pumpkin head. She's the sweetest pumpkin thing. Head. That's oh my, my baby. God. What do people want to know, Caitlin? Something um, someone Broadway. asked, what is your favorite thing to do in the city of Chicago? Oh. In the city of Chicago? Visit yeah. my grandchildren. They live yeah. there. Yeah. And eat. Oh, yeah. yeah. We just did Chicago, though. We did uh, Chicago in Chicago in March. Must be very well received. Very well. Over there. Very well. I bet. I feel like Wish I could see that. So you've done it the most. Yeah. Who's second? Uh, Carol it? Woods. Oh, Carol Woods. Carol. So is there a, a sisterhood of the traveling mamas? Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. Carol I want to be at a poker game with all the mamas. <laughs> that's what well, I want we to play be a whist, but yeah, it's a good <laughs> game. But Carol and I used to switch. It's like um, she would be on tour, and they'd be going somewhere that she didn't particularly want to go, and we would swap, and I, she would come here, and I'd go there. And then sometimes I'd come here, and she'd go there. And uh, we just, we've been good friends a long time. Wow, that's amazing. long time. I love and her. And how I nice it is. Excuse me? Rhodesia. Why is that? She's a road dog. <laughs> you got I a name it. for everybody. I, I make love it. people and it happens naturally. It's, it's not organic. something that I yeah, decided to do. It's not planned. Yeah, well, it's so great that you have that relationship with the Weislers, the producers of Chicago, and they let you. It's not a good around. government job. Yeah, not yeah, bad. It's a good government job, <laughs> baby. <laughs> And it's out, but it's a fabulous show, and it never gets old. And every time I do it, it's with someone either I've done it with before, or it's with someone new. So it's always different because the energy is different. It's a great show. It's a great show. It's like the best show for your first show. I mean, oh yeah, because you're in it. such good hands. It's got a gorgeous score. It's sexy. It's funny. This part is the funniest. It's hilarious. Oh my gosh, you got the best lines. I have so much fun. I mean, pepper her ragu. It'll be good to you. <laughs> What else are we what doing? Else? Um, someone has asked, do you have any favorite Velmas you've worked with? Though all of them are amazing. I feel like every time we have a Chicago person on, they're they like, want who's your favorite? favorite? <laughs> I, I have several favorites. Amber Fay is one of my favorites. Uh, Jasmine Guy was one of my favorites. Brenda Braxton. Mm. I can't go down the list. It's like everyone is one of my favorites for different reasons. And different, that makes different sense. Different chemistry. And you that work we have more with the Velmas, right? So you have like. Yeah, a, I spend more time with Velma. I barely okay. see Roxy except when I introduce her and then I'm gone. 
<laughs> um, someone also said that they absolutely love your tattoos and are wondering if that's ever helped or hindered you getting perform like getting jobs. Can they see them now? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it doesn't hinder because of airbrushing. I do a lot of Disney cartoons. I mean, Disney shows. I do uh, Casey Undercover, and they airbrush them because Disney has a no tattoo policy. Right. Some people like them, and they'll just say, okay, keep the tat. Can we ask you personal questions, like how many you have? I have seven. Wow. And one goes all the way across my back. Ooh. <laughs> I have seven, but they all have a very, very special meaning. Amazing. And I got my first one when I was 57 years old. Whoa. We're not going to say how old you are now. I was sure 57 I and a half. 57 and a half. Yeah, you had to know. I had to she know. Knew. Um, she knew. Nicole said that Chicago was her first Broadway show, and it was the best show hands down. And Billy asked if you would like to play Madame Morrible one day in Wicked. I would love to. Oh, so would be great. call Steven. Yeah. Yeah, I'd we'll get to. that we'll get that going on. For yeah. You. Yeah. I'd like that. No problem. You would sing the hell out of it. I would love to play that. Oh my gosh. So Ra the, oh, oh, sorry. No, there's another question. Um, Ryan asked said you were hilarious and scandalous. What is your favorite Kathy Lee Griffer, Griff Gifford. Griff Gifford memory? My favorite Kathy Lee Gifford memory. I mean, you stole that I show. Love, I love Carol Lee. But... It was Carol Lee Carmelo. Oh, mm -hmm. She's from a land called Wonderful. <laughs> uh, my favorite Kathy Lee Gifford memory is the fact that Kathy would do the morning show, and she would come to the theater for rehearsals, for put everything. Anything we did, she was in the building. And I used to just ask her, we called her little mama, and I said, little mama, when do you sleep? Yeah, because she had to get up early And for she that said, show. after this show opens, I said, <laughs> That's she had her priorities And I stu I'm still in touch with Kathy, very much so. She's a lovely woman, her and a Hoda woman. Her and a Hoda woman. Did you have a lot of wine? Did she pass out the wine? I don't drink wine, but yes, there was lots of wine around. What do you drink? <laughs> Tequila. OK, I'm just asking. I'm just <laughs> and, curious. And, and Christine Aguilera mm -hmm. dirty martinis. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Oh, I could just see with the glass. Yes, ma'am. There's so many more questions. Yeah, there's so many. See. That is so tiny. I know. Well, we're far away. That's not for the mature. <laughs> that's so for that's, that's, let's that's tell for the Caitlin. people. So you made, your, when, you made your Broadway debut. You made your Broadway debut I'm, in Eight Misbehaving. 1979 in Eight Misbehaving. And then I did Dream Girls. And then I left New York and went to L.A. Actually, I went TV. to Florida. Then I did TV in L.A. And then I came. I didn't come back here for almost six years. But you've had such an amazing career. You've done everything. You've done Nightclub singing, tea, everything, animation. Yeah, I'm a cartoon. You're a cartoon. I'm a cartoon. And you've done a bazillion voiceovers. Yeah, I'm, I just did one last week for Adventure Time. I did the gender swap of uh, Jake and Finn. It's Cake and Fiona. And um, I'm on Teen Titans Go. I'm Cyborg's grandmother. And Looney Tunes, I'm Witch Lisa. And there's so many. So much of them. And it's great because when you're doing Chicago, there. Are, Usually, I think there's someone always like making their Broadway debut in that show. Sometimes it's Billy Flynn. Sometimes it's like a star, you it's know? It's fun. It is really fun to see the different people come in and out and the energy that changes when we're on the stage with the different people. It's a lot of fun. Amazing. Never but gets old. Never gets old, although those costumes wear me out. Those girls in those skimpy costumes. Oh, like, yeah. Oh. And they eat more than me. What? Tell them children to eat. <laughs> but then they dance all day long, so. <laughs> But they, they just get eaten. Um, that makes me Benjamin wants unhappy. to know, what is your favorite Carol Lee memory? And then people were also asking um, about your experience with Dream Girls. Oh. Oh, Dream Girls. Let me see. Well, Which you're in the Lincoln Center archives, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My Carol Lee memory is that at the end of the show every night, she would, always, I would be in the wings getting ready to come on, and she would do this thing when she was singing. It, it flips me now, and it would make me cry. And one time I came out, and I was supposed to speak, and I couldn't. And um, she's from the planet called Marvelous. That woman, I ain't never heard nobody saying like that. And Dream Girls, that was my first speaking part. Ain't Miss right. Haven was it's a, a review. review. Mm -hmm. So that was my first speaking part. And one of the good old stories is that Michael Bennett thought I was not vulnerable enough to play Effie. And then wow. he gave me the role. And then about six months in, he was standing in the wings, and he said, one hell of an actress, and I was like, oh, I didn't know no, I could now, act. Now, we're gonna, <laughs> I didn't know, now you know. I didn't know I could act. And gold plate that. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it was wow. cool. Um, Fasal or Faisal asked, um, how do you keep your role in Chicago fresh? 
That's true. You've been doing this for a long time. It's what I said, though. It's the change. It's the changing of the guard. It's people. That's true. There's always someone new different. and fabulous. In There's Chicago. always somebody new, so the energy changes and you approach it differently. I say the same thing every night. I don't sing exactly the same way every night. But it's different energy because of the different people. And Amra Fay has been in it for a really long time. Amra and I have a great rapport. So you guys, you're not doing the exact same thing every night. No. You're, do you surprise each other? It's, yes. She surprised me last night, and I walked up the stage and said, "Okay, where'd that come from?" <laughs> what did she? Do? She said, "I don't know." <laughs> well, sometimes it's just the way she moves, or she'll bounce around while she's talking to me. Sorry, all the noise. And sometimes it, we say the same words, but it's just not said in the same way. And if she does something really cray cray, we never bust up and laugh. We haven't done that yet. God willing, we don't. But we do get tickled. What's it like when Anne Reinking comes back and, Heaven. and checks in? Heaven. Heaven. I love that woman. She came out on the road when we were on the road and she did a little tightening and she's so classy. The way she does it is she'll go to each person's room and she'll just say a little something. And she loves the show when we do. She said it looks great, but I want you to do no, this. No. It looks great, but I want you to do that. She's a lovely human being. That it was nice to see the original cast members get together for that 20th anniversary. The um, no, no, the 20th anniversary oh, of the ad photos. campaign. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you had BB and yeah, Annie BB and, and James Naughton and Naughton. Joel Gray. He's so sexy, James Oh, my God. And Annie and take a moment. Yeah, we take a moment with James <laughs> Naughton. I have to go. Every time I see him, I just go, <laughs> And the older he gets, I think, the better. Yeah, he's a silver fox. I think he knows it. He does. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions, Kate? Yeah, Henry wants to know, um, are there any actresses that who haven't done Chicago that you would like to perform with? Or, I guess, piggybacking off of that, are there any? is there anyone that you would love to see come back? To oh, those are different back? questions. Yeah. Um, who would you like to see in Chicago that's never been in it? I would love to see Clifton Davis, who was in oh, Aladdin, yes. who was one of my best friends. I would love to see him do Billy Flynn. That would be amazing. I would really like to see that. Um, as far as the ladies, right off the top of my head, I, there's so many that come and go. It's like I think I get my fill. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anyone you'd love to see come back? Brandy. Brandy. <laughs> my baby. I can feel you saying Brandy. My baby. Um, Are you still in touch with them? You must have, oh like, yeah. if you had them all named as Roxy in your phone, it would just be Roxy, just pages. No, no, no. I have some of them, uh, like, um, there's one, what is her name? Ruthie Henshaw. Oh, yeah. I love Ruthie Henshaw. I mean, no, I don't have them. Brandy and I are still in touch. We did that um, X-rated video, I mean, um, audio of Cold in These Streets. It was a video, actually. And I say X-rated because we use some explicits. That's all. Okay, X-rated, but explicit and X-rated. Explicit, not, explicit, not, not. Get your mind you, out of the gutter. Get, stop that. <laughs> but um, it, it went viral, and it's now a ringtone. I had to turn my phone off because it's on my phone, but it's called In These Streets. Y'all know about In These Streets, don't you? You can check that out. Did they say yes? Yeah, they're saying, saying yes. You're saying yes, yes you knows. know. Caitlin knows. knows. We know. What are people asking us now? Oh well, gosh. everyone wants to know, if there have been any, and I, you don't have to tell us if you don't want to, if there have been any stage mishaps. Oh, God, yeah. We're only human. Yeah. Go on. Let me see. What's the most recent one? I'm trying to think. I mean, people have fallen. People have dropped things. I mean, there are people who are in Chicago who have never been on stage before, like on a Broadway stage before. This not in stars. this company. No, not in this okay. company. Yeah, not but in this it, company. Over the years. But yeah, it happens. It happens, and some of the people on tour have never been on Broadway. Right. They've done the tour for two, three years, but they've never been on Broadway. But things happened. Just the other night, someone dropped, you know, the stage is black and everything going on at his clothing, mm -hmm. everything is black, and someone dropped a big white tissue wad on the floor during uh, Billy, and I'm sitting on the side and I'm looking at it and I'm wondering, okay, who's going to get it? <laughs> And so and, was the audience probably. Yeah, <laughs> I, it was just this big white blob of tissue, and, and, and it didn't look used. That's so okay. we're sitting there, me and um, James are sitting there looking at it going, I wonder who's going to get it. We watched three people walk over it, and I said, okay, I have to walk over there, so I'll get it when I go. And he said, no, you will not bend over. I'll get it. And when we walked past, he got it so quickly. Mm. You didn't even see him get it. Nice. But I mean, it's little stuff like that. Big because as you know, if you've seen it, the, the actors are on the stage and they're, they're watching. Yeah. And they were getting ready to do uh, guns so they couldn't dance with this thing in the middle of the stage. Yeah. Because you have to be real careful. Sometimes people use too much lotion or body stuff. 
and they lay down on the floor. Oh, and make it slippery. <laughs> make it slippery. But it's like I haven't seen in Chicago, any, lay off the lotion. Yeah, lay off. But I haven't seen any real mishaps recently. Nobody stumbled and fallen. Forgotten maybe. a song or something. Forgotten a word or two. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. I drew a blank one time that I'll never forget. When I walk out to introduce Kitty, I sat down and I said, here's the way I got the story. And I looked at Rob Bowman and he brought Kitty down and all I could say was, that's Kitty. <laughs> and then and what's your actual I caught up. What's your actual uh, Here's the way I got the story. There's this Kitty something or that I didn't catch her last name. All of that went right out the window. Here's Kitty. And then one night, George Hamilton forgot to introduce Mary Sunshine, so she never showed up. <laughs> oh, no. That was a long it's time ago. Kind of an important Those are just little story, things that I do remember. Things. Yeah, But those are the things that happen when the audience doesn't know the script. If you just continue and keep your face straight, they don't know what happened. We try not to let those things happen. But we're on the hill. <laughs> Rashad just said, I loved In the, in the Streets. Uh, <laughs> How long have you known Jennifer Lewis, and are you two going to work together again? I've known Jenny since 1979. We've been friends, and she lives about 15 minutes from me in California. And we spend a lot of time together, dinners and swimming and hanging out. Um, I wish we could do something together. She's taking a few jobs from me. Let me tell you something, Jenny. <laughs> She's ta yeah, a couple of things that I've gone up for, and then I'll ask my agent who got it, and he'll say Jennifer, and I say, okay. All right, that's at least it's a friend. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, but I've known her a long time. So you know they're doing all of these um, live TV musicals now. Yeah. If you could do one, what would you want to do? Because the whole country should see you live singing on TV. Child, I want to do Sunset Boulevard. <gasps> We're going to secret that. That's like my dream show. That'd be amazing. To play Norma Desmond? Yes. Max. <laughs> <laughs> I just I mean, love the music. I love, especially Barbara's album. I love the music. Amazing. All right, we have to wrap it up. Yeah. Roz. Thank you for coming. I can't believe I'm sitting next to a legend like this. I'm like, uh, who am I? She's all so sweet. I'm all you guys, go see Roz Ryan in Chicago, the musical. Till September 4th. And then she'll be back because she always comes back. I always come back. They can't get rid of me. No one wants to get rid of you. <laughs> Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.